Welcome to the voice of St. Anthony Parish from Alston, Massachusetts, right here on WROL, 9.50 a.m., 100.3 f.m. And you can also hear us at catholicaudiomedia.com. That's catholicaudiomedia.com. Well, it is Friday, and we've looked at pastoral ministry all week. And uh, therefore, as we look at pastoral ministry, we have an understanding of it. I thought I'd give you an example. Now, granted, this example is going to be, um, it's also going to involve some of the charismatic gifts. And I thought, well, in any case, why don't I just give this? Because it really does highlight some of the issues I was talking about. So I, I was in the Navy. I came back to the church. I got involved in a parish out in uh, San Diego called Point Loma. And, no, call, and a part of San Diego, Point Loma Parish. Hold on just a minute. A part of San Diego called Point Loma. The parish was St. Charles de Borromeo Parish. Uh, was just wonderful and helped me to come back to church. Well, as you're, you know, coming back to church, and I got involved at that point over at just, you know, it's a regional thing, Sacred Heart Parish, I believe it was, in Mission Beach. So if you know anything about San Diego, it's obviously got a lot of beaches, and there were these two beaches, uh, what was it? Well, there were these two beaches right across from each other. One of them was in Mission Beach, and they had a parish, Sacred Heart Parish, so I got involved in the charismatic renewal. First time I ever heard of it, didn't know anything about it, and long story there. Well, one of the aspects of the charismatic renewal, and this it should not be just for the charismatic renewal, it should be for all uh, Catholics, was praying uh, for health issues. So I had developed a boil on my left hand. And, you know, I don't know whether this is something that is common on the, on the current generations, but in my own experience... Obviously, when you're talking to your parents who grew up, in my case, grew up during the Depression, the idea of going right to a hospital or right to a doctor was not known because they really wanted to deal with things directly because it would be expensive. So, uh, and of course, that worked down the line. So my mother was a nurse anyway. So if something went wrong that didn't need to hospitalization or even just going to an emergency room to check it out, uh, then, you know, take care of it here. So you have a cut, you put on Mercurochrome, which is what we used at the time. I don't even know if that's still around anymore. Um, you know, different things like that. And my own father told me a story of how his father treated boils. And I tried something similar, realized big mistake. Because what happened is I ended up with a very serious boil on my left hand. And I had tried to take care of it myself and tried all the things I learned, all the home medicine and stuff, and it didn't work. And ultimately, it became uh, very painful and pretty serious. So I ended up going to finally the emergency room. Now, I had free medical. I was in the Navy. Why well, didn't go from square one? I don't know. But anyway, so I went to the emergency room, and the doctor took one looked at, look at it and said, this is very, very serious. And uh, this needs to be dealt with immediately. You're going to have to take an antibiotic. You're going to have to do this, that, and the other thing. And you have to obey it and do exactly what it says because you're really in a very serious situation. Ooh, this is not a good sign. So anyway, I asked for uh, some prayer from some friends of mine. And they started praying over my hand. And one of them said to me, I get the sense that you're having trouble with somebody and basically described my boss to a T. And I, and I explained, yeah, that's actually my boss. Now, some people may not understand that, but that's, it, it's one of the charismatic gifts, and she was praying over me, and she described my boss. It's nothing out of coast-to-coast -coast AM. It's a reality that exists in the church. And so, uh, and she described my boss. Well, I was having the hardest time with my boss. He was extremely grouchy. Um, I won't say the nickname that he gave himself. Uh, I'll just call him Joe. Yeah, we'll just say that because if I say the nickname, and he's still around and he happens to hear this program, he'll go, <laughs> he'll go, hey, you're talking about me. So uh, I, we'll just call him Joe. And 
behind his back. And not that I said anything really bad, but I used to call him Uncle Joe. So I walked into a space on the ship one time. And I turned to the other guys. I said, hey, anyone seen Uncle Joe? He says, yeah, he's sitting right there. I went, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh. But it was a very, very painful experience with him. And I would occasionally be on the ship, and I'd hear him screaming through the intercom, car, get up here. So we actually did not get along at all. Not at all. And uh, so when they're praying over my hand... She realized you have this very uh, difficult relationship with this person. I said, yeah, it's my boss. And he r- really was a horrendous experience. Uh, I'll talk more on the other side of the break. You're listening to uh, the voice of St. Anthony Parish from Alston, Massachusetts, right here on WROL. We'll be right back right after this. You can now leave a message for us, which we can air and discuss on this program. Just call 617-297-7452. That's 617-297-7452. 617-297-7452. Feel free to call, leave a comment, a question, or even feedback, and we may play it on the air. I can discuss your comment or question as well, so give that a try. 617-297-7452, 617-297-7452. We're back, and we're talking about uh, kind of pastoral ministry this week and this particular experience uh, done with prayer and everything else. So it was the first time that I ever learned this. Um and this is a basically biological fact. If you're struggling with anger, it affects your immune system. And that's one of the things they said. They said, you're really dealing with this a tremendous amount of anger here. There's a real animosity here, and that's affecting your immune system, which is why you're having the boil. Now, a doctor may say this, that, and the other thing the whole bit, but it was fascinating because the first time I ever learned that, that if you have a problem with anger, it's going to affect your immune system. And there, that is an actual fact. That is true. And, of course, she said you're going to have to learn to pray, to forgive, to, to learn how to deal with him and everything else. And so uh, I did over time. Eventually, he got transferred. Eventually, I got transferred, too. So I didn't get to experience that much wonderful time without him. But anyway, um, but I I did realize that um, uh, that was the first time. And so in that case, the problem wasn't really the boil. That was the symptom. What was the problem? I was having real serious problems. Uh, problems with this boss and one of the things that I remember talking to another member of my group is my boss drank a lot and I used to drink a lot so as you can see that was a reality and uh, this other uh, member of the, the, uh, the division who was actually the same rank I had He said to me, he says, the reason why he really hates you is because you have what he wants. You quit drinking. You're doing fine. And he wishes he could quit drinking. That's what he said. I don't know if it's true. But we absolutely did not like each other. It's funny because there was another, uh, there was a chief involved and he didn't like me either, but it was for different reasons. I think it was because he, I was very religious. I had come back to the church and I was very religious and he was the son of a pastor. And he didn't like that aspect at all. So uh, that was that was a struggle. Well, we, we got along to some degree. That was okay. Um, but the, the, the other one we didn't get along with at all. I didn't get along with at all. And that affected my health. So uh, eventually everything worked out. But you can see that that would be an example on a smaller scale of pastoral ministry. I was saying, yeah, the problem is not that you have a boil on your hand that is very, very serious. The problem is that your struggle with your boss has affected your immune system. And the immune system is not able to fight this infection that is there. And all your other little um, home remedies didn't work. (laughs) 
<laughs> they didn't work. The Coke bottle didn't work. In case you didn't know that, that was uh, what my father taught me was a way to deal with boils. Don't ever do that one. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, that didn't work. And all these things. Uh, but what was the problem? The problem was my relationship with my boss. And the solution was to find a way that the two of us could not be constantly fighting with each other and and despising each other and find a solution now i'll tell you an interesting story that happened to me and i i think this was a grace uh, i don't know if you know what an airlock is but an airlock is when you have to go from the outside to an inner space and there is a uh difference of atmospheric pressure so you see them in science fiction movies all the time but they really do exist so you go from the outside, you go into an airlock, and in the airlock, they change the pressure to the pressure that's on the inside of where you're going, and you go there. Well, this same boss, who I didn't get along with, I had to go with him uh, into an airlock, and he and someone else had to go explore a part of the ship that was under pressure. It was underwater and was under pressure. So he had to do that. Well... My whole life was in his hands as we were in the airlock. One simple mistake and you're dead. That's the problem with an airlock. And there's a lot of safety things you have to do and stuff like that. And then when he was in that whole, that place, his life was in my hands. So that really changed a lot. But that was all a grace. And that helped us understand uh, on a different level. But that's a very powerful experience it also reflects a grace and what was the cause of it that i wasn't getting along with him to such degree it was affecting my immune system we'll talk more on monday have a blessed day i want to call your attention to catholic tv which offers great faith-filled family-friendly programming 24 hours a day you can find your cable channel at www.getcatholictv.com and you can watch online on the free apps or check out the youtube channel Daily Mass, Rosaries, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and the Our Lady of Perpetual Help Novena are all available online and on demand. Check out catholictv.com. If you are searching for a meaningful spiritual experience, look no further than St. Anthony's Parish in Alston, Massachusetts. Join us at 43 Holton Street in between Soldiers Field Road and the Mass Pike. Immerse yourself in the complete St. Anthony's Parish encounter through our 10 o'clock a.m. chanted Mass. Whether you're a Catholic seeking a parish to call home or someone looking for spiritual guidance, our welcoming community is here for you. Visit our website at www.stanthonyalston.org for more information. St. Anthony's Parish, where faith finds a home.